Hi, I'm Mark Chaikin. Over the past year or so, I've warned 8.4 million people that I believe will see a historic financial reset in 2023. And it could soon result in a run on the banks unlike anything we've seen in our country's history. Few people realize this could actually happen on U.S. soil or what a sizable impact it could have on your wealth, especially if you have large amounts of cash in the bank. In short, what I'm seeing across the country these days, and among the many emails I get from the 750,000 people who follow my research, is that a lot of Americans are very confused right now and making some very foolish mistakes with their money. People have seen serious losses in the stock market, and I think it's going to get even worse, especially in 2023, but not in the way you might expect. If you know what's coming, 2023 could actually end up becoming the best year of your financial life. But I say that with one reservation, and that is today, right now, you have to move your money out of cash or popular stocks and into a vehicle 50 years in the making that could make you a huge potential gain as the whole thing unfolds. Like the 10,090% gain you could have made in 11 months with a vehicle our work pointed to back in 2020, smack in the middle of that year's panic. And that's why I created this public message. Because after spending 50 years on Wall Street advising some of the wealthiest managers handling billions of dollars, after all my appearances on CNBC, and after predicting the 2020 crash and the 2022 sell-off, there's one thing I want to tell the public right now, which I don't think anyone else has the courage to admit. In short, our financial system was affected by COVID-19 in ways the authorities haven't begun to admit yet, with consequences we haven't experienced yet, and it's going to be painful. More money was printed in the last two years than the previous 200 years combined. We're talking about more than $15 trillion. Now, I understand we printed that money to keep the country going, but guess what? When you print money out of thin air, it means the price of everything goes up. Home prices have soared by 40% over the past two years. And the price of gasoline and critical food items like corn and wheat have all more than doubled in price in two years. But probably the worst part is this. A $100,000 salary earned in 2018 is now worth just $82,000 today. Think about that. If you've been holding cash, it's the equivalent of holding a stock that's fallen by 20% since 2018. Would you ever keep your life savings in a stock that has plummeted by 20% since you got in, which was considered safe and protected by the government? Of course not you'd cut your losses and get out. And that's creating a huge problem for retirees. Folks who left the workforce years ago and were hoping to live off their nest egg. And what about folks who are still working? Incomes have barely budged over the past five years. The average wage of the US worker has increased just 4.8%. While just about everything you need to survive has become more and more expensive. This is a devastating situation which has locked millions of Americans into a struggle we haven't seen for generations. People are running faster and faster just to stay in place, and many are falling way behind. Mark my words, all of this will result in a reset of our financial system in ways most people will never see coming. Money will move out of cash and out of popular stocks and into some very surprising places. If you're holding your money in the wrong place, this shift could cost you dearly. It could also make you a huge profit if you know where to move your money right now before this shift accelerates in 2023. Ignore me if you like, turn off this video, but the fact is I predicted the biggest drops we've seen lately. For example, back in April of 2022, I warned a bear market was coming just before the S&P plummeted 20%. Our research pointed to a bear market in tech as far back as February of 2021, 
before the innovative tech sector plummeted 50%. We also predicted the 2020 crash back when COVID-19 was only a murmur in the press and warned about 21 different stocks that have since crashed up to 81%. And yet, in 2020 alone, you could have doubled your money five different times with our recommendations. In 2021, our work pointed to four different stocks that could have more than doubled your money. And in 2022, our work predicted the 20 best stocks of the year, even before the panic began, including a catering company of all things, which went up 350% in just five months. And now, as we approach a turning point in the market, I'm sharing one simple action you must take now before the cash panic that I predict for 2023. I've already racked up 8.4 million views on a controversial video I recently created to explain exactly what's coming and why it could help you make massive gains in the market no matter what the experts say is or isn't going to happen next. Please pay close attention to what you're about to see. It's already appeared across the internet and on 30 TV networks a message no one else has the guts to tell you, with a free recommendation for where to move your money immediately. Hi, I'm Tom Mustin. The man I'm sitting with here is the creator of one of Wall Street's most popular indicators, a system that appears in every Bloomberg and Reuters terminal in the world and is used by hundreds of banks, hedge funds, and every major brokerage site. He spent 50 years on Wall Street, survived nine bear markets, helped create three new indices for the NASDAQ, where he once rang the opening bell, and he's appeared numerous times on Fox Business and CNBC's Mad Money, where Jim Cramer once said he's learned to never bet against him. Mark Chaikin, living legend of the market, sir, thank you for being here. Tom, it's my pleasure. And Mark, the indicator you built almost 40 years ago is now the gold standard on Wall Street for determining whether a stock is bullish or bearish. It's been used by everyone from billionaire Steve Cohen's hedge fund to Investor's Business Daily, become the subject of countless white paper studies, and has helped make a lot of institutional investors a lot of money. But today, for the first time ever, you're essentially turning your back on Wall Street and sharing the biggest prediction of your career. So tell us about it. It's simple. I spent my career helping banks make money. And in 2000, I retired to Connecticut. I figured after 35 years on Wall Street, it was time to relax and play some tennis. <laughs> but then the crash of 08 came along, and something happened that rubbed me the wrong way. My wife lost 50% of her 401k plan, all because of a bad money manager. And I thought, gee, I've spent my whole life helping Wall Street get richer, when ordinary folks like my wife, Sandy, are getting fleeced. And that's when I made a radical decision that yanked me out of retirement and has kept me working 24-7 for the last decade, creating what I consider the ultimate secret power for everyday people, a way to see which stocks could soon double your money by taking the same information I gave Wall Street for 50 years and using it to give yourself a huge and unfair advantage, beginning with one particular type of investment I urge you to buy immediately. Okay, now Mark, today you're planning to give away the name of your number one favorite little stock to buy right now, along with the name of the number one stock to avoid. And it's a popular company that could soon wipe out a lot of people. But for now, I want to focus on your big prediction. You've discovered something that could soon create an entirely new class of everyday millionaires in America, which we're going to cover in a moment. But it's the way you found this investment that we here at Stansberry Research are so fascinated by and which could soon create an entirely new type of investing this year, bull market or bear market. Can you walk us through it here, Mark? Well, first of all, Tom, I want to share an important message. If you miss the bottom of the crash in 2020 and you haven't doubled or even tripled or quadrupled your money on some of the best performing stocks of the past year, then the next phase of this market could be the last great opportunity to see substantial gains. In short, a very strange day is coming to America, and I predict it'll send one particular type of investment absolutely soaring. And we know this because of an incredible new secret we've created for everyday Americans. Essentially, Tom, we've developed a way to see which stocks could soon take off by 100 to 500% or more. Wow. 
by predicting the future stock ratings of more than 4,000 different companies. And today, we're going to have you explain and even demonstrate what you created here, Mark. But one thing I want to mention right up front here, what you're about to see is arguably the most successful stock predictor we've come across in the 22-year history of our firm. For example, in 2014, it pointed to NVIDIA. Mark immediately recommended the stock up as much as 3,200% since then. In 2020, it pointed to electric vehicle maker NEO up 884% in about eight months. Biotech firm Novavax up 335% in two months. And Fulgent Genetics up 799% in around nine months after Mark System pointed to it. All during a year that saw the worst crash since 2008 and the biggest and fastest market turnaround in history. Pretty impressive considering all investments carry some level of risk and not everything can be a triple digit winner. But Mark, to me, the really powerful thing about your secret is that you can sometimes smell the opportunity before you can actually even see it. In fact, you've recommended dozens of stocks that went on to more than double, having no knowledge of the company at all. Even in situations where it's nearly impossible to predict the future, like an approval by the FDA. So what have you created exactly here, Mark? Tom, we've developed a system. And for me, one of the best ways to explain its power is to share something that happened to me some years ago on national TV. I was invited to appear on CNBC Fast Money. Priceline.com was due to report earnings the next day. They paired me up with a legendary trader, John Najarian and had us both share our opinions about Priceline. A, a prediction of the stock. Right, except I knew nothing about Priceline.com. So I gave myself a huge and unfair advantage over the rest of the investment world. I sat down and typed the stock ticker into the system we're gonna share with you today, which is the culmination of my life's work. And Tom, with one glance, I saw that the stock would soon be rated bearish, meaning it was likely to be rated a sell tomorrow morning on Wall Street after the earnings came out. So I told the anchor I would get out immediately. So what did the other guy say? At first he was against me, but after the show he said I took a harder look at the company since Mark Chaikin doesn't like the stock. <laughs> and what happened next there, Mark? Tom, I'm told it was the first time in history of CNBC Fast Money that they did a reprise the next day. The stock had dropped more than 100 points overnight. And the money manager who took my advice, John Najarian, went on the air and admitted that anyone who took my advice and bet against Priceline.com would have done extraordinarily well. In fact, he publicly said, Mark's prediction worked out like a charm. One particular bearish play went from $1.80 last night to $15 or $16. John said, great call by Mark Chaikin. That's a 733% overnight return. And that brings me to the essential secret of my life's work. In short, if you want to make serious money in the market, there's one thing you need to understand. Nothing makes a stock go up or down faster than the actions of institutional investors. When a bank starts pouring in hundreds of millions of dollars into a stock, it can shoot up overnight and go on to rise hundreds or even thousands of percent all because of the sheer quantity of institutional money flowing in. But the big question is, what causes banks to buy these stocks in the first place? Well, most analysts look at earnings, uh, news announcements, industry developments, and that kind of thing. Sure, but all those factors add up to create the stock rating. You see, almost every public company has a rating on Wall Street, which you can find on Bloomberg or Yahoo Finance. It's either a buy, a hold, or a sell. And the fact is, what I've learned after half a century on Wall Street is that when the research side of a bank issues a rating that's bullish, the investment side will start buying it hand over fist. And that's where I have a huge, and you might say, unfair advantage. In short, I know exactly which stocks the banks are most likely to buy next, because I built the very indicator they use to help determine the stock rating. You're talking about the indicator that was personally named after you and appears on every Bloomberg terminal on Wall Street. That's correct. After 2008, when my wife lost so much money, I decided to take that indicator and rebuild it as a system for everyday folks that essentially shows you tomorrow's stock ratings on Wall Street today. Mm. It's a system that provides online cheat sheets for more than 4,000 stocks showing exactly what the stock is most likely to be rated over the next three to six months. 
My wife has made three times her money overall just by doing what we're going to demonstrate today. And I can imagine. I mean, if you knew that one of the biggest hedge funds in New York was about to turn bullish on a little biotech stock, you definitely want to get your money there first. Tom, nothing can make you richer than getting a piece of an unknown stock ahead of the smart money on Wall Street. Consider Riot Blockchain, for example, a tech firm that mines for cryptocurrencies. Today, if you look up this stock online, you see that Wall Street rates it a buy. And sure enough, institutions hold four times more shares than the insiders, including the Vanguard Group, Susquehanna, and more. Now, that's not really a surprise considering cryptocurrencies have exploded in popularity recently. So of course Wall Street is interested. But what if you had known this information? That is, what if you had known Riot Blockchain would become a darling of Wall Street? way back in March of 2020, before the price of Bitcoin went up 10 times. You'd probably buy the heck out of it. Well, back in March of 2020, even as the market was crashing, it was actually pretty easy for us to predict what Wall Street would think of Riot Blockchain in the future, despite the fact that I myself have almost no knowledge whatsoever of Bitcoin, blockchain, or cryptocurrencies. So how can you know with such accuracy which stocks will be rated a buy on Wall Street without being an expert yourself? To put it simply, I became a licensed broker in 1966 and spent every day of my career learning exactly what the banks most want to see in a company in order to rate it a buy. This was often proprietary information you wouldn't know unless you provided technical analysis day in and day out, as I did, to hedge funds run by the likes of Steve Cohen, Paul Tudor Jones, and George Soros, all were long-term colleagues of mine among hundreds of other bankers, traders, and analysts. I knew them all, and I built them the bullish bearish indicator of their dreams, the one I'm most famous for. But they all paid a price. Well, yes, they opened the kimono and shared their secrets. By that I mean by tweaking my indicator to suit each of their needs, I was able to see exactly what Wall Street's most successful investors look at when judging a stock. For some, value is most important. For others, it's sentiment or earnings. The bottom line is, I walked away from my career knowing the 20 factors that large investors use to make their decisions. And I developed a secretive way to compute that information and predict the stock's rating over the next three to six months and beyond with remarkable accuracy, even if I myself don't understand why. In the case of Riot Blockchain, my system used that information as far back as March 16, 2020 to determine the stock had a strong likelihood of being rated a buy in the weeks and months ahead. And sure enough, the stock went up 10,090% in less than a year. Wow, which is what, like 100 times your money? But of course, some folks might say that was just a lucky example, Mark, a crypto stock at the start of a melt-up in cryptocurrencies. Yes, but we've done this time and time again, Tom, in all kinds of sectors. For example, in 2020, I recommended Twitter, Fiverr, Sleep Number, and Baidu, each of which could have more than doubled your money if you had bought and held. I even recommended a communications company called Nuance at the height of the coronavirus crisis in March of 2020, which has also more than doubled since then and is now being taken over by Microsoft. And Mark, I imagine all this leads back to the big prediction that you're making today. Yes. As we'll explain, the secret we use to accomplish all of this brings me back to the number one stock I urge you to buy immediately, which we'll give away for free right here. It's all part of the biggest prediction of my 50-year career on Wall Street, the rise of a particular type of investment that I think will determine who makes the most money in the coming months and who will be left with the scraps of the recent bull rally. Okay, so now Mark, in order to predict tomorrow's stock ratings, You've developed a one-of-a-kind system, which you originally built for your wife after she lost 50% of her 401k back in 2008. And within the system are thousands of cheat sheets for companies of all sizes and sectors. One that caught my attention is Digital Turbine, which your system pointed to back in June of 2020. I remember that one well. My wife actually found and bought that stock using our system and made more than seven times her money. Wow. And incidentally, she spent a good part of her career as a director at L'Oreal, marketing men's cologne. She's a very smart woman, but knew little to nothing about the stock market. And Mark, what fascinates me about Digital Turbine is how it's the kind of company most people have never heard of before. 
uh, it's a software firm that helps app developers make money, which is pretty niche. As it should be. I mean, really, who cares what the future stock rating for an Apple or an Amazon might be? What matters most are the stocks that analysts might not even realize exist right now because the space isn't crowded and the upside potential is three to five times higher. Mm. That's where we've consistently found the biggest opportunities and where we're looking right now, bull or bear market. Now, of the 4,000 different public companies, Digital Turbine is one of just 12 that came up when you ran your system back on June 7, 2020, looking for which stocks were most likely to have a strong buy rating on Wall Street over the next three to six months. Now, these are stocks that receive almost no coverage whatsoever in the Wall Street Journal. For example, Cohen, Big Lots, Henry Schein, and more. Very, very obscure little stocks. Obscure, but with huge profit potential. All three of the stocks you just named shot up after our system pointed to them. In particular, here's what came up for Digital Turbine. Okay, now explain to us what exactly we're looking at here, Mark. The system works by taking the indicator I'm most known for on Wall Street, the one used by every bank and hedge fund you can think of, and combining it with the 20 factors I mentioned earlier. Together, these factors gauge exactly what the smart money is looking at and distill that information into one simple rating, bullish, neutral, or bearish. In this case, the rating was bullish. And sure enough, Wall Street went on to rate the stock a buy. And a whopping 61% of its shares are now held by institutions, including BlackRock, D.E. Shaw, and more. Now, normally, Mark, I wouldn't care what Wall Street has to say, but the fact is this stock went up 789% in just eight months after your system first predicted the buy rating. So my question is, and I think everyone watching is also curious here, how did your system determine this, especially on such a small company that receives almost no attention in the news? In short, there are 20 factors the smart money on Wall Street looks at when deciding whether a stock is a buy, a hold, or a sell. There's a definite secret to how we calculate the rating, but I've always been transparent about the factors themselves. Let's take a look. They're divided into four categories. First, the financials, which includes everything you see here. Essentially, all the numbers a good value analyst would consider. Which, Mark, is mumbo jumbo to most people here. Uh, yes, but it's the kind of thing that Warren Buffett looks at first. Next, we look at earnings, which includes all of this. Essentially, the company's annual scorecard. In other words, is the company actually making any money? That's correct. After that, we look at the technicals, which includes all of this. And Mark, I see your name in there. So what is all this stuff exactly? These factors measure price and volume activity, including that bullish bearish indicator I developed back in the early 1980s and which now bears my name on the Bloomberg terminal. Okay. And finally, the last category. Experts. In other words, we look at what corporate insiders and institutional investors are doing and saying at any given moment. And you compute all this stuff individually for every stock? Well, sort of. We have a secret to crunching this information, which is why the system has found so many winning stocks, often stocks I would otherwise never consider, like Alarm.com, a security company our system pointed to as a buy back in May of 2020. It went on to double in seven months. Or Cadence Design, a circuit maker that almost tripled after our system pointed to it back in January 2019. In short, everything I've just shown you is calculated every single night by a secret algorithm. I spent 40 years devising that algorithm. For more than 4,000 stocks, it spits out an overnight cheat sheet predicting the future rating, like a surprise bullish rating back in June of 2017 for Joy Inc a live streaming platform which went on to double in just eight months, or a surprise bullish rating for the footwear company Crocs back in June of 2018, before the stock went on to rise as much as 530%. And keep in mind, of all the bullish stocks our system finds, it can pinpoint exactly which ones the big banks on Wall Street are most likely to begin buying. So I take it you don't have a room full of young analysts somewhere uh, reading 10K reports, watching CNBC, and downloading Bloomberg data 24-7 to issue all these ratings. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> well, if that's the case, Mark, how do you react to real-time news? I mean, how can a computer system look at what's happening in the actual real world each day 
and update the stock rating. For example, suppose the CEO is publicly shamed or there's an overnight geopolitical conflict or some other problem hits a company completely out of the blue. Like the coronavirus. Right, exactly. Well, that's where our system really shines. And actually, this type of unexpected event is the focus of my big prediction today, including the number one stock to buy right now and the number one stock to avoid. You see, in 2020, we all got the surprise of a lifetime when the country went into lockdown to contain the spread of COVID-19. A lot of people were predicting a long bear market and the end of the economy as we knew it. But all of a sudden, back in April 2020, our system began lighting up bullish on some of very unusual stocks. For example, Overstock.com. The home goods company. Yes, which surprised me. I've personally never liked Overstock.com as an investment opportunity. In my opinion, the company had bad management back then. A big turnoff. But our system was rating the stock bullish at $10 a share. At the time, it didn't make any sense to me. Now, why do you say that? Well, you wouldn't expect people to be decorating their home during a pandemic. Coincidentally, my wife and I had recently bought a house in Connecticut, which we were buying furniture for, ironically from Overstock.com. <laughs> but I thought we were more the exception than the norm. Clearly, I was wrong, and the system was right. Overstock.com went on to rise 1,050% in just four months after our system rated it bullish. Essentially, the system was able to see things about the economy that even I myself couldn't decipher until after the fact. And that's what we love most about the system. It can smell the best opportunities even before we can actually see them. In other words, it can analyze real-time data as accurately as any human analyst, but objectively. Well, is that a good thing? Oh, absolutely. The problem with most analysts, myself included, is that they're opinionated. They're stubborn. They have biases based on their own experiences and ideas. So they overlook all the breadcrumbs that can lead to huge opportunities. Okay, Mark, but how could a computer system intuitively guess that people would become excited by home furnishing during the pandemic? Well, one thing you have to remember is that the markets are always forward looking. By that, I mean no one ever invests based on what's happening today. They invest based on what they think will happen in the future. Our system is designed to help us anticipate the short-term future better than anything else I've ever seen, using everything I've learned about the smart money on Wall Street over 50 years. It all goes back to those 20 factors I showed you earlier, and the last category in particular, what insiders and experts are saying and doing. And this works across the market. It does, especially with little-known companies. In the case of Overstock.com, for example, we were able to objectively measure three key technicals. It had a rising money flow, it was oversold, and its momentum was rising faster than the S&P 500. So Mark, explain for us what all that means. These are just three of the inputs that go into our algorithm. Essentially, it meant more and more institutions were beginning to buy the stock, but a lot of institutions hadn't gotten in yet, and the stock was trending higher. So we don't need to understand all of the pieces, Tom. The secret is how we translate all of this into data and compute it with an algorithm that 99% of Wall Street won't know about until days, weeks, or even months later. So you're able to accurately gauge what Wall Street will think of certain stocks even before they've made up their own minds. Or even if they're initially wrong. A good example is PayPal. Back in June of 2019, one analyst at UBS downgraded the stock and said the company would struggle for years to come. Our system disagreed. It rated the stock bullish, which means we were confident Wall Street would eventually change its tune about PayPal and get into it big time. And who was right? In this case, we were. PayPal went on to be rated a buy on Wall Street, and today 87% of its shares are owned by institutions. Meanwhile, you could have more than doubled your money if you had acted on our system's ratings before the banks turned bullish and held for the long run. So it's kind of like having a real-life crystal ball, right? You get to see into the future long before Wall Street for the chance to hugely profit as the majority of banks, funds, and the general public catch on to what you already know. I don't know if I'd call it a crystal ball. After all, we're only human. And as you mentioned earlier, all investments carry some level of risk, and nobody picks all triple-digit winners. 
But we've got a decade-long track record of perfecting a system that gives you the opportunity to dramatically outperform the market. The system updates overnight with an output we consider a type of cheat sheet that gives you the chance to buy tomorrow's favorite stocks on Wall Street before most of the institutions or the public realize the opportunity. But some things just can't ever be predicted, right? For example, a little biotech firm developing a new drug to treat liver disease. Unless you're a scientist working at that company, it's impossible to know if the FDA will approve the drug, right? You would think so, but we've seen amazing results with even the most inscrutable companies. Because again, everything about a company's stock performance gets reflected in those 20 factors we look at. Consider a New Jersey firm called Cancer Genetics, for instance. Back in February 2021, the stock more than doubled in just one day, which most people never saw coming. But we did. Months earlier, a system rated the stock bullish as far back as December 2020. How? In this case, the stock jumped from the announcement of a merger. At our end, we knew absolutely nothing about a pending merger. We just knew that our algorithm was picking up on signals that meant other people knew something was up a kind of industry-wide secret that we could smell but couldn't quite see yet. The reality is every time there's big news in the market, lots of people connected to the situation already know about it. Money starts moving around, word gets out, and these types of movements always get reflected in the price and money flow of a stock, like breadcrumbs nobody else can piece together without the right algorithm. And I assume that's your big advantage, the ability to uncover these breadcrumbs before anyone else. The fact is, Tom, our system can accurately pick up on these movements, often long before the story appears in the press. So very often it can feel like a leap of faith to follow our stock ratings. But once you see this play out again and again over decades, you learn to trust it. In this case, you'd have made a 244% gain in just two months. If the banks don't see the opportunity yet, that means you yourself must see a lot of oddball ideas from your system. We do. For example, another stock that lit up bullish on our system back in 2020 was Wayfair, a home furnishings retailer. I said to my wife, that's interesting. We've been buying a lot of things to decorate our home in Connecticut. Maybe this is part of a larger trend. And sure enough, the stock almost tripled in five months. Wow, incredible. So essentially, the system does all the thinking for you. We call it the power gauge. But I wouldn't say the system does all the thinking. I'd say the system knows exactly what the smart money on Wall Street is thinking and then weighs each of the 20 factors behind that thinking with a particular ranking that is essentially our secret sauce. <laughs> I love it. So tell us more about this secret sauce, as you call it, Mark. In May 2020, our system turned bullish on Camping World, again, a stock I'd never have considered under any circumstance. But here's where it gets fascinating. By that point of the pandemic, it was clear that social distancing would last for quite some time. Gyms were closed, restaurants were closed, summer was approaching. So a lot of experts were predicting a surge of interest in outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. The system was able to gauge all of this by measuring three key technicals. The stock had rising money flow, it was oversold, and its momentum was rising faster than the S&P 500. The indicator I built to measure all of this is what earned me a spot on every computer platform on Wall Street. You can actually look up my name in most finance textbooks and see it. Okay, and again, Mark, that just means more and more institutions were beginning to buy the stock. But a lot of institutions hadn't gotten in yet, and the stock was trending higher. That's correct. Those three technicals meant that we were seeing the perfect entry point. And equally important, all the fundamentals for Camping World were solid. The company was earning money, offered a high value for the current share price, and so on. So all of a sudden, the power gauge predicted a buy rating for a company that sells tents and sleeping bags. <laughs> Crazy, right? I would think so, especially after the worst crash in 12 years. And yet, Tom, the stock went on to triple in less than a year. Wow. And as you'll see today, it's the surprising opportunities like this that we uncovered during the pandemic that have now led me to the biggest prediction of my 50-year career. The rise of a particular type of investment I urge you to buy immediately. It's the entire reason we're holding this event. A chance to make a lot of money in the coming weeks even if you miss the recent bull rally.
You know, I like how the power gauge didn't just look at consumer interests. It, it also evaluated the company's fundamentals. Many analysts would likely do one or the other, but not both. Of course, all of those factors go into our secret sauce, our weighting system. But frankly, Tom, everything we do goes back to something that personally happened to me back in 1969. Most people won't remember this, but there was a bear market in the mid-60s that ended on literally the exact day in 1966 that I got my broker's license. So for the first two and a half years of my career, every day seemed like an uptick. Everyone on Wall Street was a genius. Right. Everyone's a genius until the music <laughs> stops playing, right? <laughs> now, in those days, all I ever used was fundamental analysis. Then came the bear market of 1969-70, and suddenly that didn't work anymore. Meanwhile, nobody ever thought of doing technical analysis. We had a few charts lying around our office at 14 Wall Street, but remember, this was more than a decade before the first home computers. So how long did the bear market last? It lasted through October of 1970, and I realized I can't successfully manage my clients' money unless I have a technical idea of where the market's going next. Something that goes beyond the song and dance everyone else paid attention to when evaluating a company. So what exactly do you mean by that, Mark? In those days, you bought a company because you liked the product, and it had a good balance sheet and good management. But today, we know that none of that matters if the technicals don't look favorable. And by that, I mean how a stock's individual price action compares to its industry group and the market as a whole. In other words, is the stock likely to move higher from its current price? Were you the first person to realize that, Mark? I mean, you're a pioneer in technical analysis, right? Your indicator is even featured on StockCharts.com. That's true, Tom. But no, I wasn't the first. I learned a lot of this stuff from a guy in Connecticut named George Chestnut. I've never heard of him. Most people haven't. But as far back as the 1950s, this guy was sitting at his kitchen table doing thousands of calculations to determine which industries were strongest and how each stock performed within that industry group. Nowadays, you can click a button to see that data. But George did it all by hand, God bless him. And the value of his mutual fund more than tripled over a decade. Nice. And I guess that inspired you. It did. It set me off on a lifelong study of how best to combine fundamentals and technicals, both the story and the price action, in a way that nobody else was capable of doing. It took me over 40 years, but it was well worth it. We've seen gains as high as 399% on Pega Systems, 256% on KB Homes, 277% on Novanta, among dozens more. And more importantly, going back to the big prediction I'll share today, we can often see into the future long before anyone else. Well, Mark, give us an example of that. In one word, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Back in early February 2020, the bull market was still going strong. But already, rumors of a new virus were circulating through the news. And all of a sudden, on February 2nd, the power gauge swung away from being bullish for the first time in months. And a number of stocks lit up bearish, including Marriott, Chevron, Tiffany, and many more. Wow. So weeks before the country officially went into lockdown, your system was already warning about a hotel chain, a gasoline chain, and a luxury retailer. As usual, it didn't make total sense to me at the time, but sure enough, Marriott went on to fall 54%, Chevron fell 52%, and Tiffany fell 23%, among many other bearish stocks we warned about. More importantly, I began studying this information very carefully to get a bigger picture of the market. And as early as January 26th of 2020, I publicly warned traders should tighten stops. Then, once the initial drop took place on March 1st, I publicly announced, plan for the worst. I got to say, Mark, that was a bold call, considering the initial move in late February was, at the time, the worst one-day drop ever. Sure, but the warning signs were piling up in our system. Relative strength was falling. Sentiment was turning sour. Insiders were dumping shares and more. We knew it would get even worse. But... Of course, 2020 was an extreme example, right? I think a lot of folks saw the warning signs piling up. Well, we saw it as early as January and identified the worst stocks to be holding. And that's why today I'm doing it again. I'll announce the name of a stock to sell immediately if you own it, which you might because it's one of America's most popular stocks. And I'll also share a type of investment our system is lighting up bullish on across the board, 
which I think will set the stage for one of the greatest new bull markets this year. Why do you say that? Well, you see, Tom, the power gauge has a long history of finding turning points. As far back as March 2016, for example, our system pointed to one of America's favorite companies, up more than 900 percent since the beginning, Chipotle. Which is a fantastic looking stock to most people, I'm sure. Not to us back then. Chipotle lit up bearish on our system, and we urged the public to avoid it. Sure enough, it went on to fall as much as 41 percent. So how quickly can the power gauge pivot on a stock like that one? For example, when does a Wall Street darling that's fallen out of favor become a buy again? All the time. For example, two years after we warned the public about Chipotle, the power gauge turned bullish on the stock. So in June of 2018, I recommended it. If you'd bought and held for the long run, it's up as much as 227 percent since then, even through all this turbulence. OK. And can you do that with the overall market? In, in 2020, for example, did you foresee the bear market ending so quickly? Tom, I've lived through nine bear markets dating back to before the Nixon administration. In my experience, they usually last between nine and 24 months, and they're painful. Nobody knows the exact turning points. But in this case, I can say that on March 22, 2020, 24 hours before the market bottomed, I ran the power gauge and wrote, be prepared for violent bear market rallies. Of course, you know what happened next. You bet. The S&P went on to have its greatest 50-day rally in history. Sure did. And the power gauge turned bullish on a variety of different stocks, including Donnelly Financial Solutions, Rent-A-Center, Lithia Motors, the Ensign Group, and First Solar, all of which have as much as doubled since then. We soon realized we were dealing with the shortest bear market in history. Not 23 months, but 23 days. Mm. And we realized it was the little known stocks like the ones I just named that could show you the biggest and fastest gains with our system. So you played both the rise and the fall in the market. Yes, I did. And that's something I learned from my Wall Street clients. The smart money. <laughs> the very smart money. You see, back when I ran my own institutional brokerage firm, our clients were folks like Tiger Management, which manages $36 billion. D.E. Shaw, where Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. once worked. And the top hedge funds and growth investors in Boston and New York. These guys are expected to always find a way to make money. By giving them technical analysis, I learned they were all using a disciplined approach to investing. But they weren't all using the same factors, which gives us an advantage. And all of that went into your power gauge. Yes, it did. Years later, in creating the power gauge, I distilled all the most successful factors they were using, both on the bullish and bearish side. But with a weighting system I've never revealed, none of them have ever figured it out. Remarkable. So because of your connections with many of the best investment firms, you've been able to get a peek under the hood, so to speak, to see what they all do that works best. I can't imagine that many other people enjoy that kind of access. And even better, you've been able to turn that advantage into an incredible system for regular folks like me. That's right, Tom. What I'm still shaking my head over, though, Mark, is how your system can pick up on these breadcrumbs, you call them, that nobody else pays attention to. For example, I was actually playing around with the power gates earlier today. And just for fun, I typed in GameStop. And as you all probably know, back in January of 2021, a group of renegade investors caused the struggling retail chain, GameStop, to spike 200 percent in just five days as kind of revenge against Wall Street funds who were betting against the stock. Melvin Capital, for one, required a $2.7 billion bailout. Some of those kids actually made money, Tom. Right. And that's where your system comes in, Mark. And I think this also speaks to the big prediction you're sharing today. In short, the power gauge rated GameStop bullish back in September 2020, literally months before all the action that made national news. And as you can see here, it was bullish for about a month and then it turned neutral. That means if you had bought and held, as Mark's system suggested, you could have sold at the peak of the GameStop mania for an extraordinary 3,000 percent gain without being involved in any of the online shenanigans. We see this sort of thing a lot. And look, I'm not saying the power gauge predicted the GameStop chaos, but certainly the system picks up on movements in the markets before we as humans can even put the pieces together. You've done this really well in the large cap sector. As far back as 2011, you were bullish on Apple, which is up 900 percent 
as of 2021. In 2018, you told Jim Cramer you liked Amazon. In fact, you publicly said, you can't be bearish on Amazon. You just have to find the right spot to buy. That stock just about doubled as of 2021. But almost anyone could have made those calls, Tom. Where our system really shines is predicting the future stock ratings of companies you'd likely never consider as investment opportunities. But with the potential to make three to five times your money or more faster than you can imagine. And also because factors like insider buying can play a huge role in our algorithm when looking at companies that are less talked about in a way you simply can't see with a Tesla or a Facebook. Mm. Take Capri Holdings, for example. They make and sell luxury apparel. In the fall of 2020, the stock lit up bullish on our power gauge. That's very strange considering most of America was still in lockdown. Well, that's the difference between our power gauge and other systems. Most systems only update once a month, or they don't track each of the 20 factors we follow or they give all the factors equal weight, which is a big mistake, especially in a volatile and sentiment-driven market like we saw in 2020. But in our case, the power gauge updates overnight and can evaluate real-time news like a vaccine coming out and how experts and insiders are responding to that news. Got it. So in other words, analysts were finally beginning to envision a world without COVID-19, and insiders were beginning to realize that consumer apparel firms like Capri would soon take off. But you know, I still don't understand how a computer system can account for something like that, the human factor, if you will. For me, the turning point came in the late 1970s when the first good home computers came out, like the Apple IIc or the Tandy TRS-80. Mm. I was buying this stuff at Radio Shack and doing all the tinkering myself, taking the calculations guys like George Chestnut had been doing in the 50s and automating it. But in my case, I had the advantage of working closely enough with the smart money on Wall Street to be able to forecast with an algorithm what they were most likely to do with all the available information when issuing a stock rating. And so your power gates knew that Capri Holdings was likely to be rated a buy on Wall Street in, in the weeks ahead. Well, with Capri, we knew how to quantitatively measure analyst reactions to something like the vaccine development, the sentiment. Mm -hmm. Take a look, rising money flow, oversold and trending higher. So the stock lit up bullish on our system and rose 258% in just six months. That's why I said it before and I'll say it again. We know exactly which stocks the banks are most likely to buy next because I built the very indicator they use to help determine the stock ratings. I know what they're looking at and what percentage value should be assigned to each factor. Granted, they don't teach this stuff at the Wharton Business School but it's incredibly powerful. Excellent. Now, in a moment, we're going to hold a demonstration of Mark's system. He'll type in the tickers for a variety of different stocks and show you what the power gauge is saying right now, including the name of one stock mostly ignored by Wall Street right now, which Mark predicts will soon have a buy rating at every big bank and hedge fund in Boston and New York. He'll also share a major prediction for the stock market. No small thing considering that Mark publicly warned about a crash as far back as 2015 be caused by a black swan nobody would see coming. He called for the bull to continue in 2017 on CNBC, accurately warned about the dips in 2018, called for the post-crash rally to continue in 2020, even months after the pandemic broke out, and more. And now the free stock recommendation you'll be giving away today, Mark, is tied to how you played the pandemic. Is that correct? Yes, two recommendations actually, both related to the long-term impact of COVID-19 lockdowns on America, using clues most people will probably never consider until it's too late. One bullish, one bearish. So bearish, I like that. You know, it seems like you assign almost as much value to which stocks you should avoid as to what you should buy. Actually, funny enough, some years ago, the NASDAQ asked our firm to create three indices for their exchange. The idea was to see whether our power gauge could curate a list of the best NASDAQ stocks. So hold on a second, Mark. Let me get this straight. You were actually contacted by the NASDAQ exchange to try and help people outperform the market? That's correct. And what wow. we did was actually very simple. We took all the stocks in three categories, large caps, small caps, and high dividend payers, overlaid the power gauge, and then simply removed all the bearish stocks. In the first year alone, our indices outperformed by 52%, 76%, and 49%, respectively. 
That's why it's critical to always know which stocks to avoid as much as what to buy. I imagine that kind of information could improve the performance of a lot of investment newsletters, wouldn't you say? I mean, sometimes an analyst has a fantastic model portfolio that gets dragged down by one or two losers. Yes, but equally important is knowing the perfect moment to buy and choosing the perfect investment for a given sector. Actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to share something. Sure. Yeah, go right ahead. To demonstrate the power gauge, we took the liberty of analyzing the model portfolio of one of the most successful analysts in America, Dr. Steve Sugarroot. Now, i got to warn you here, Mark. Dr. Sugarroot is a former hedge fund manager who has beaten the S&P 500 for 19 years. He's been so successful, in fact, he's been invited to ring the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange twice. I know that, but nevertheless, we took his entire model portfolio from 2020, overlaid the power gauge in a back test, and saw a pretty amazing difference. Take a look. Okay, so walk us through this, Mark. At the time I reviewed it, Dr. Sugarroot's 2020 model portfolio recommended 12 stocks for an average total gain of 52%. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Yes, and, and with the power gauge? His average total gain would have been 78%, wow. which means you could have increased your total gains by 50% if we had been using the power gauge with Dr. Sugarroot's recommendations. And you could literally do this exact same thing with any type of stock recommendation. Now, Mark, how easy is it for someone to actually use your system, though? I mean, looking at this cheat sheet for Vaxart, for example, a little biotech firm your system pointed to back to November of 2019, there's a lot going on here. We designed the power gauge so that the only thing you should pay attention to is the stock rating right up here. We even added gradations like very bullish, or neutral negative to give you a better idea of where the stock might be going without having to analyze any of the technicals yourself. In this case, the rating was very bullish. So all the technicals down here are just for folks who want a more detailed glimpse into the company's health. To give a stock a bullish rating, we always look for solid fundamentals, and then we confirm it with at least two of the technicals you see here. I call that the power of three. They're mostly a glimpse into whether right now is a good entry point to buy the stock, the opportune time, if you will. In the case of Vaxart, not all of these technicals were even lit up, but at least two were, and that was enough to turn the rating bullish, just before the stock went on to rise 3,060% in seven months. And in your experience, folks with no experience on Wall Street are comfortable acting on this information? Well, the person you should really be asking is my wife, Sandy. Again, she had no experience in finance before we married. Then she fired her money manager and started using the power gauge. Now, I know Sandy is watching from home right now. Do you mind if we zoom her in and ask her a few questions? Let's do it, Tom. All right, so can we zoom in, Sandy? Great, so Sandy, are you there? Yes, I am, how are you all? Sandy, can you tell us a little bit about your experience using Mark's system? Sure, uh, well, my story goes back a long time. Years before I met Mark, I didn't really take an active role in managing my money because I had a very busy work life as a marketing director for a major cosmetics company. I was making good money, but I didn't know enough about picking stocks to really get in the game. You had a 401k, I understand. Yes, yeah, and, and I got into a few uh, good mutual funds, but eventually I got too busy to invest. So I handed it over to a money manager, essentially my entire life savings. And lo and behold, along comes the crash of 2008 and the value of my 401k just plummeted. So I uh, started panicking and week after week, I asked him, should I sell, should I sell? And he was absolutely no help at all. Well, it's certainly hard to stand by and do nothing when stocks are falling more than 50%. Absolutely, yeah. Well, finally, I lost so much money, I fired the manager and took control of my own finances. Now, meanwhile, my husband, Mark, was realizing there were a lot of people like me. More than $100 billion was being transferred from full-service brokerage accounts, much of it to online self-directed accounts. People were upset. I mean, they were taking back control. And that's when Mark got interested. How so? Well, uh, Mark spent half a century on Wall Street. And so naturally he began wondering, how are all these people going to find the right investments? That's really how the power gauge first got started. 
So tell us about your results, Sandy. Well, first of all, I do this all on my own without Mark's help. Um, and overall, I've made back everything I lost in 2008. And altogether, I'm now, I'm now up three times my money, which I'm very proud of. In 2014 alone, I got into two of the year's best performing stocks, Skyworks and Southwest Airlines. And last year, I got into Qantas Services, Fubo TV, and Digital Turbine, to name just a few. So I've made uh, really good money on all of them. So how did you find those stocks? Well, it really wasn't that hard at all, actually. You can customize the power gauge to search for anything you want. For example, you can search for all the stocks of a certain size with a very bullish rating, small caps, large caps, whatever you want. That's all I really pay attention to. So even now, I don't understand most of the technical details, although Mark's tried several times to explain it to me. So how do you know when to sell? Well, when a stock's rated bullish, it lights up green. When it's bearish, it lights up red. And when it's neutral, it lights up yellow. So that's pretty straightforward. So in the case of Southwest Airlines, here's the chart I was looking at when I first bought the stock. It was yellow for a while, then it switched to green. So I bought in, held for about a year. And when it turned red, I sold. It's really as simple as that. And sure enough, the stock did very little after that. And by the way, I get all of these alerts automatically via email. Tom, can I jump in here? Sure. We devised the red, yellow, green system to make buying and selling as easy as possible. But what it really does is to allow you to maximize your total gain by only riding the stock through its most bullish phases. We don't like all the whiplash that goes along with a volatile stock. So when a stock turns red in our system, that's a good signal to sell. But having said that, sometimes it actually pays off to take a long run approach. You don't necessarily want to sell if the stock turns red for a few days or even a few weeks. So often I might recommend you hold even through a bearish period. Sure, I mean, e even a good stock has its ups and downs, sure. Exactly, so in many cases, if the stock was rated very bullish initially, it pays to ride out the turbulence. Okay, but for someone who wants to see faster gains, you could use the power gauge to trade in and out the most bullish stocks to potentially beef up the total gain. That's right. Let me show you what I mean. A good example is Vaxart, the stock you mentioned earlier. Take a look. The system lit up very bullish in November 2019, stayed green or neutral for about seven months, and then eventually turned red in August 2020, just before the stock took a dip. That means if you'd been following the power gauge to the exact moment of when to buy and sell, you could have made 30 times your money in seven months before the stock began falling and walked away. Will the stock rally even higher someday? Maybe. But if that happens, the power gauge is designed to show you exactly when to buy back in for the next ride up. Sort of like fast forwarding through the boring parts of a movie. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, Mark. Great explanation. I really understand it now. And Sandy, one more question for you. Do you ever get overwhelmed with all the information available on the power gauge? I mean, looking at all the variables here, it's, it's pretty complex. How do you handle that with no background in finance? Well, I, I don't. I really just look at the cheat sheet. On the system, its official name is the checklist. You type in the stock symbol up here, click here for the checklist, and voila, Power Gauge pops up with the final rating right up here with all the information you need. You, you don't need to bother with anything else. The rating is really all you need to make a decision. Wonderful, Sandy. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. My pleasure, Tom. Thanks for having me. And with that, Mark, everything we've talked about tonight adds up to your big prediction. So I think the time has come. Let's hear it. In short, the same way our power gauge picked up on clues in 2020 we didn't understand at first, pointing to certain stocks that would soar during the pandemic, like home improvement companies, cryptocurrency companies, and more. Today, once again, we're seeing clues to a particular type of stock we believe will soar in the coming months and create a new class of very wealthy investors who get a piece of it now. 
In this case, these are stocks that we expect will do incredibly well as America absorbs everything we learned from the pandemic lockdown and transitions to a new way of life. So to be clear here, Mark, you're predicting a big shift from the work at home, stay at home stocks that performed so well during lockdown to something new, stocks that will boom in post-COVID America. Yes, Tom, but I think you'll be surprised by what these stocks could be. We're already seeing some very interesting names light up bullish on our system, and even we're shocked. So what is this type of stock we're talking about exactly? In short, there's a very specific type of recovery stock that I think most people will never consider until it's too late. And that's because it's more than just a play on America getting back to normal. It's a play on what I predict will be a historic shift in how America does business after COVID-19. More specifically, a digital shift. So explain what you mean by that. A very strange day is coming to America, Tom. It's the day we all realize America will never be the same again. Business will go back to normal, but certain aspects of how we shop, eat, travel, date, and communicate will never go back to 2019. And it's in that gray area between what America looked like before the pandemic and what America looks like after the pandemic where significant new wealth can be made. Okay, and you mentioned a digital shift in particular. Yes, in the new America that will arise in the great recovery, a particular kind of technology is positioned to play a massive role. I believe we'll see the rise of a new kind of company in dozens of different sectors. These are companies that will take the digital life we all grew accustomed to during the lockdown and make it a permanent and beneficial feature of how America does business going forward. It could be like buying Apple before they release the iPhone, if I can make that comparison. A chance to get in on the ground floor of an entirely new paradigm shift in how we buy things, how we exercise, vacation, and more. Think of Amazon, up as much as 213,000% since it first created a new way to shop. Or Netflix, up as much as 80,000% since it first created a new way to rent movies. Or Facebook, up as much as 1,800% since it first created a new way to interact. Of course, those are the biggest market winners from the last time America saw the kind of digital shift I'm predicting. And remember, not every pick will be a winner. So you should never invest more than you're willing to lose. But this time around, I believe the shift will be even wider reaching and a lot more unexpected. Our system is already lighting up bullish on a variety of very surprising stocks we urge you to buy immediately. So we should all look ahead to this next phase of America. Yes, I predict we'll see a dramatic new digital shift that will extend everything society adapted to during lockdown in dozens of new directions. That means looking for investments in cybersecurity, high-speed internet, new social media platforms, artificial intelligence, and more. And that's exactly what the Power Gauge is doing right now. Excellent, well, thank you, Mark. And again, in just a moment, you'll give away the ticker symbol for your favorite of these New America stocks, right? Yes, and the number one stock to avoid. Got it. Now, before we get into the Q&A, Mark, if, if someone who's watching this wants to begin using your system, bull or bear market, what do you recommend? If you'd like to learn more, we've written a full research report detailing all 20 factors that go into our system and how to calculate them. It's called the Power Gauge, how to double your money on the best stocks. Inside, you'll learn the one thing that shows you at a glance where a stock is going how to time the perfect point to buy or sell any stock, what the smart money on Wall Street always looks for in choosing a stock they can comfortably invest millions of dollars into, and more. And Mark, I know there are thousands of folks watching today who are very excited to access your new report, but realistically, a report probably isn't enough to get started, right? Our report gives you an overview of how our system works. But I agree with you. To do this analysis yourself on more than 4,000 companies, updated overnight every single day, including knowing exactly how to weight each factor, that would be impossible for anyone. For one thing, because we've never revealed our weighting system in public and never will, as I said before, that's our secret sauce. And that's why today you're stepping forward in a big new way. That's correct. Until recently, we've mostly sold our findings to professional investment advisors. And these folks have paid up to $5,000 a month just to see the stocks we identify as bullish. 
But today, for the first time ever, we're doing something with our online system unlike anything we've ever done before. We're launching a brand new research service for everyday folks called the Power Gauge Report. Each month, you can see which stocks are rated as bullish and bearish with our online system without doing any of the hard work yourself, with details on where the system points to as the best place to put your money in any type of market for the chance to double or triple your money. So each month in your new research service, the Power Gaze Report, you and your team will analyze the entire universe of U.S. stocks using your system, all the factors that we've discussed today. You'll find which companies are rated very bullish and very bearish, which you'll share in full. Then what? Of the top 40 stocks we uncover each month with our analysis, we'll pick the number one stock to recommend in the Power Gauge Report, usually a mid or large cap stock because those offer the highest potential gain with the least amount of volatility. Along with that, we'll have a constantly updated portfolio of other stocks we believe could double or triple your money. In fact, as of today, we already have a fully built model portfolio of five stocks we urge you to buy immediately. Each month, we'll publish all of the details of our newest recommendation, including how each stock fits into our system's view of the market as a whole. Most importantly, when the system says to sell, we'll alert you on when to close your position for the biggest potential gain. And to be clear, you're releasing this product for the first time ever to share the results of your system in a simple, all-in-one new product tailored for the general public. Yes, Tom, we're doing something completely new for our firm. We've partnered with Stansbury Research, one of the largest independent financial research firms in America. They have more than 330,000 subscribers based in 120 countries. Since 1999, they've worked with some of the biggest names in finance and business, including best-selling authors, uh, former U.S. congressmen, CEOs, and more. They came to us and said, look, your work is incredible, and we want to get it in the hands of our customers and others around the world. So that's what we're doing today. We're tired of Wall Street having all the advantages. We're tired of seeing folks like my wife Sandy lose nearly 50% of her 401k at the hands of a money manager who doesn't know how to react to market changes. So after years of helping institutional investors get wealthier, today we're leveling the playing field by giving you access to the same information we've provided Wall Street for years, but with the ability to get ahead of the smart money every single month. Today, for example, one of our top new recommendations is one of the most exciting opportunities I've seen in my career. It's a company whose rating I predict will soon be a buy at every major bank as we see a massive shift in how America does business after COVID. Most people won't know this until after the stock has potentially tripled, but you can hear about it in our new Power Gauge report today. Excellent, Mark. Now, in just a moment, we'll hold a demonstration of the system behind Mark's brand new research service, the Power Gauge Report. We'll show you the results of a variety of different popular stocks, including Mark's free recommendation of the number one stock to buy now as America transitions away from COVID-19. But first, I want to make something clear. As Mark mentioned, until recently, most of his clients have been professional investment advisors. These are folks collectively managing hundreds of millions of dollars and who make their living in the markets. And they've paid Mark's firm up to $5,000 each month to access his system and analysis. Not to mention, most analysts can only access Mark's indicator via Bloomberg, a Wall Street terminal that costs $24,000 a year. In other words, for the past decade, you'd have likely never known about Mark's power gauge and how successful it's been. But today, for the first time ever, Mark is opening the doors to a powerful new way for you to access his analysis and his top recommendations yourself to see which stocks are positioned to go up, which are positioned to go down, and why. Each month, he'll name a company with the potential to double or even triple your money as a result of his deeply nuanced analysis of the smart money on Wall Street. As CNBC's Mad Money host Jim Cramer once said, I learned a long time ago not to be on the other side of a shaken trade. He went on to say, I want to explain why I love Mark's stuff. It's simple, it's understandable, it's rational, it's not emotional, and I use it constantly, and I almost never want to go against it. In other words, 
Mark's work has been used by one of the best known stock analysts in America. So as you can imagine, a lot of people have paid good money for Mark's work. For example, Mark used to charge $1.99 for his power gauge report on just a single stock. At that rate, it would cost you $8,000 to get his reports on the 4,000 different stocks he follows. But today, Mark is doing something special for everyone watching. In short, you can try his work risk-free. Now, typically, the power gauge report will cost $199 a year. But because we're at a rare moment in history, when life after COVID-19 will create what Mark is calling a new America, a new way of doing business that will create dozens of investment opportunities, he's agreed to do something incredibly generous. If you order right now, you can try Mark's work risk-free for over half off the normal rate. You'll pay $49 for an entire year. That's up to a 75% discount. And again, it is totally risk-free for anyone watching right now. That means you'll have the next 30 days to review Mark's special report and model portfolio, which shows you which stocks could double your money by predicting tomorrow's stock ratings on Wall Street. I think you'll find this offer more than pays for itself. As George W. wrote, quite honestly, this is hands down the most amazing system that I've ever seen. You've brought a new excitement back into my trading. Keep up the good work. Also, I'm in the process of canceling some of my other subscriptions, and it feels great. Chaken is a perfect fit. Each month, you'll get the name of a stock you'd likely never hear about from your financial advisor or broker, from the man who helped create Wall Street's entire stock rating system. The best part, though, is that you can get all of this for less than the price of a casual dinner. And if you're unhappy, you can get a full cash refund of everything you pay today. To get started, simply click the link below this video right now to place your order. But Mark is going one step further. When you join the Power Gaze Report right now, you'll also receive an incredibly valuable bonus that could help you make even more money with your subscription and change the way you look for stocks forever. So Mark, can you talk about that? Absolutely, Tom. It's really very simple. Through today's special offer, we'll also give you free access to the system itself for the next year. You can type in any stock ticker, see its current rating, and see what's really going on inside the stock. All our fundamental and technical analysis work has been built into the Power Gauge, which you'll receive through a new interface we've just developed called the Power Pulse. You can access it on your computer, on a smartphone, tablet, you name it. And keep in mind, this is a simple to use interface that doesn't require any bells and whistles or interactive charting, which we've offered to professional clients in the past. That means with just the click of a button, you can do exactly what I've been doing today and see a daily cheat sheet showing where the stock is most likely to go next and why. Like this surprise bullish rating for LAM Research, which I recommended before the stock shot up as much as 697%, or this surprise bullish rating for Integris before the stock shot up as much as 400%. So you can use the recommendations we publish each month in the Power Gauge report, and you can also use the system itself to your heart's delight, as my wife Sandy does, to screen for additional stocks you might be interested in. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Now, we're going to hold a demonstration of the power gauge on a variety of different stocks today. FANG stocks, plus one of the most popular companies of late, one of the most hated companies, and more. But, Mark, really quickly, give us a tutorial. Walk us through exactly how a new user can start using your system right away. Tom, I'm really excited about demoing our new Power Pulse report. We created this for the everyday investor. And we go through all of the 20 factors in the power gauge, plus the summary rating. So what a user would do is type in a symbol. I'm going to type in the symbol for a medical testing company called Charles River Labs. Mm -hmm. And immediately the power gauge rating pops up, along with the four components that we talked about earlier in the presentation. Underneath the price chart, which is a one-year chart of Charles River Labs, we see the power gauge rating which has been bullish for the last 12 months. This stock has gone from 210 to 460 in that time frame. Right under that, we have Chaken Money Flow, which we've talked about, and our proprietary relative strength indicator. The two technicals, which combine with the power gauge rating, make up what I call the power of three. And then you can scroll down and see each of the four components with the 20 factors. In plain English, the Power Pulse report 
gives you a complete picture of the power gauge rating and the 20 factors, along with other financial data, so you don't have to go to another website to get the information that you might look for on Yahoo Finance or another website. Very quick, very easy to use, and that rating is available, what we call the cheat sheet, basically, on over 4,000 stocks. Great. So thank you, Mark. And I can see how Sandy loves this so much. Very user-friendly, and all of us who aren't financial analysts can really utilize this and have you do the work for us, which is great. Thank you again. So there you have it. Order right now, today, and receive free access to the Power Gauge system so that you can plug in your own stock ideas and apply this feature anytime you want on almost any company, industry, and trend. And of course, you also receive up to 75% off the Power Gauge report, free access to Mark's model portfolio of the top five stocks to buy now. Plus, one more incredibly valuable bonus we haven't even covered yet. Not to mention, you can try all of this 100% risk-free. But today's offer, the best offer, with all the bonuses, could be taken down at any time. So if you're interested, we urge you to place your order right now. Click the link below this video to get started. And keep in mind, Mark's work has already become a bestseller in the investment research industry. As Bob Lang, an equities trader and a frequent guest on CNBC and Jim Cramer's Mad Money once said, in all my years in trading, I've tried many different styles and approaches, but Chaikin is one system that stands out head and shoulders above the rest. And Mark, by the way, what if a new subscriber is unhappy? Can you walk us through the refund policy? Of course. This offer is completely risk-free. At my age, Tom, the biggest reason I'm doing this is because I want to help other people. So if you're unhappy with my work, simply contact our Maryland-based customer service team at our 1-800 number, and you'll get a full, prompt cash refund of everything you paid. Although, frankly, I doubt you'll ask for a refund. Now, the earliest users of Mark's research absolutely swear by it. For example, trading expert John Carter made $1 million in just two days trading Tesla and loves using the power gauge. He writes, there's a lot of hyped up tools out there, but a single tool that combines 20 fundamental and technical factors to anticipate a stock's profit potential got my attention. It's like an objective awesome meter for stocks. Okay, now Mark, I wanna test your system on one of the most popular investment sectors in the market, technology, in particular, the FANG stocks. Now, in recent years, we've seen a run up in Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, and Google. Is it too late to buy any of these? Well, Tom, a lot has changed since we went into a bear market in January of 2022, and the FANG stocks are no longer the darlings of Wall Street. But let's see what the power gauge has to say about it. We're going to um, look at the five charts uh, featuring the power gauge rating, uh, our unique relative strength indicator at the bottom of the chart, and shaken money flow right there in the middle between the power gauge and the relative strength. So let's start out by looking at Meta. Now, um, that used to be Facebook, but Mark Zuckerberg has, uh, in his infinite wisdom, changed the name to Meta. And that's sort of one of the problems with the stock. Uh, Facebook, now Meta, is investing billions and billions of dollars in building the metaverse, and Wall Street doesn't like that. And we see it on the chart. Power Gauge has been neutral as the stocks made new 52-week lows recently. But more importantly, the stock is underperforming the market. And we see that in our relative strength ribbon at the bottom. And one of the reasons is institutional investors don't like what's going on at Meta. So my overall take is that here's a stock making new lows. It should be avoided. It's underperforming the market. It's, it's not a good place for your money and certainly wouldn't be bottom fishing in Meta. But now let's go look at Apple, which uh, is sort of a neutral mixed bag. Power gauge has been bullish, as you can see on the ribbon here. It has outperformed the market at times. It's, it's more um, of a stock that's trading with the market. Uh, although it's close to breaking out above 150, at which point the rating would turn bullish. Right now, our power gauge rating is neutral plus, which means that the underlying factors in the power gauge are bullish, but the stock's still in a downtrend. So here's a stock that I would be watching because something good may happen. Uh, now we go to Amazon, and here there's a, a different picture. The power gauge rating on Amazon has been bearish or neutral since last April. 
Uh, the stock's been underperforming the market, just recently made a new 52-week low. And on the left of the chart, we see our pre-trade checklist. We actually read the chart for you. Three strength factors, three timing factors. And you can see that five of the six are bearish right now. So uh, my take on Amazon is uh, this is a stock to avoid, and um, it's not a stock that I consider a core holding any longer. Uh, now let's look at Netflix. Netflix is the one stock in the FANG group that has a bullish power gauge rating. Uh, and more importantly, it's outperforming the market. Failed to make new lows twice in both uh, September and October when the market went down. And uh, their new pricing plan is sticking. They've raised prices and they're not getting a lot of pushback from their subscribers. So Netflix is the one uh, shining light in the fang complex and then finally google and google like amazon just made a new 52 week low the power gauge has been neutral on alphabet uh, but it's clearly been underperforming the market and then right above our strength indicator we see check and money flow which shows us that smart money has been selling alphabet since august so uh, here again uh, not a pretty picture in terms of the power gauge for Alphabet. Which of these overall would you say is the most bullish right now and, and the most bearish? Well, Netflix is the clear-cut bull in the FANG complex. Actually has a great looking chart and improving fundamentals. Okay. So there's the bu a bullish pick in the FANGs. And uh, in terms of bearish, I'm going to focus on Meta and Amazon. I, I think that Meta is spending way too much money on the metaverse and it's not clear yet whether there's the ability to monetize and Amazon has just fallen out of favor with Wall Street and I, th I think it's no longer a core portfolio holding and it's a stock I would sell on strength. In fact, I would sell them both on strength. Okay, well great. Well, thank you for that, Mark. And clearly people love using this system. As John D said, of all the solutions I've tried over the last three years, this is the first product I've seen that actually puts it all on one page. And with that, I want to talk about the second bonus you'll receive if you take advantage of Mark's charter offer right now. Today, you've seen how Mark's power gauge has uncovered some of the best performing small cap companies, mid-sized companies, blue chips, and more. Well, one question we often hear is, which stocks are best for retirement? In other words, which stocks can I buy right now for an IRA or 401k and hold forever? So we asked Mark to apply his power gauge across the entire universe of stocks that many people consider the best long-term recommendations, the kind of stocks you can comfortably hold through any kind of market with the potential to make you multiple times your money. So Mark, can you talk about that? Sure, Tom. Actually, it's very simple. I was given access to a model portfolio of 22 of the best stocks to buy now and hold forever from one of the top financial analysts in America a guy who once worked at three of the biggest hedge funds. By running the power gauge, I eliminated all the picks rated neutral and bearish, focused only on the most bullish picks, the best entry points, and then I selected the top four stocks to buy now. I'm releasing this in a special report called Four Power Picks for Retirement. And today, through this special charter offer, you'll receive free access to it immediately. All four picks along with everything else we've discussed today. Now, others have paid $199 per year to access this type of report. And of course, this entire offer comes 100% risk-free. So if you haven't already, we urge you to click the link below this video and order now, today, to receive this generous and enormously valuable bonus. And Mark, with that, I want to get into another question. What if we see a huge and obviously very painful bear market? Tom, the power gauge finds the best stocks to buy in any market, bull or bear, as we proved in 2020. Remember, often a stock rated bearish on the power gauge can fall and then immediately pivot. When that happens, the power gauge turns to bullish and the stock can take off independently of whatever's going on in the market or the economy. So can you give us an example of that, Mark? Well, consider 2018. On February 5th of that year, the market saw its worst point decline in history. Up to then, a lot of people panicked, but the power gauge didn't just sit on the sidelines as you might have been tempted to do. Instead, it predicted a bullish move for a little-known California retail firm 
called Restoration Hardware, now called RH Corp. In fact, we recommended the stock. If you had bought and held, you'd have made five times your money as of 2021, beginning in the worst year for stocks since 2008. So Mark, I take it that bear markets don't scare you. Well, I'm respectful of bear markets because I've lived through nine of them, but mm -hmm. no, they don't. And that's because the power gauge can help you avoid all the biggest losers in the market. Take 2015, for example. Small cap stocks were hit by a massive bear market, a surprise to most people. But the power gauge issued a bearish rating for the well-known athletic apparel company, Under Armour, just before the stock dropped more than 60%. And that's just one example. It did the same thing with Kinder Morgan, a lesser known company in the energy sector, just before the stock also dropped more than 60%. And of course, while all investments carry some level of risk and nobody picks all triple digit winners, I can tell you I survived and even thrived through all the dips in the 60s and 70s, the crash of 87, the dot-com meltdown, the 2008 financial crisis, and the corona crisis. Impressive. So. Let me ask you this, Mark. By using the power gauge, can you also spot companies going bankrupt before that news goes public? Absolutely. In fact, we made the mother of all bearish calls back in 2015. The power gauge turned very bearish on a solar energy stock called Sun Edison, literally eight months before the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Hmm. Even if we ourselves don't know the full story, the power gauge can repeatedly alert you to dangerous companies whether they're going through bankruptcy or just going through tough times. And Tom, if you know what to do, you could make a lot of money on a situation like that. To say nothing of all the money you would save by simply dumping the stock if you happen to own it. Fantastic. And, and with that, Mark, let's do another demonstration here. I want to look at a stock that almost everyone loves right now. Sure, Tom. Let's look at Peloton. We're typing the symbol into the Power Pulse report, and we see that Peloton has a very bearish power gauge rating and has since March. And what has the stock done? It's gone down while the market is making new highs. And if we look at our relative strength indicators, we see it's been underperforming the market and shaken money flow is negative. Peloton is a stock that benefited from the work at home, stay at home mm -hmm. lockdown, and they're having problems and the power gauge is picking that up. Well, and I take it, Mark, you've made a lot of predictions like this over the years, haven't you? Well, big banks on Wall Street will pay a lot of money to know which stocks are on the verge of falling, so we found a lot of those. Back in 2018, for example, Jim Cramer invited me on to his CNBC show, Mad Money, where I predicted Amgen, the biotech giant, had run out of steam. And sure enough, the stock went nowhere for the next 18 months. Wow, that's very versatile system here. So you can find bulls and bears and, and stocks going sideways and more. I love it. And as Annie G once wrote, I'm now totally addicted to the Chaikin system. I may need an AA meeting. This doesn't stop. Wow. <laughs> and Constantinos K once wrote, after 10 plus years in the markets, Chaikin is the only research that I will have for as long as I trade the markets. It's a phenomenal service and very economically friendly for those who want to have access to the power gauge. And clearly, the results speak for themselves. Back in 2020, the power gauge pointed to discovery before it shot up 238% in six months. Viacom CBS before it rose 383% in 10 months and more and more. Of course, all investments carry risk and nothing is ever guaranteed in this market, but wow, just wow. The more I play around with the system, the more impressed I am by its history of just incredible calls. And of course, this entire offer comes 100% risk-free. So Mark, let's do another demonstration. I, I want to look at a stock that almost everyone hates right now. Tom, let's look at Macy's. This is a bricks and mortar retailer. And people think that the game is over for Macy's, but the power gauge rating that we're going to see here in the Power Pulse report turned bullish back in May. Macy's is outperforming the market. Check and money flow shows that smart money is accumulating the stock. And I think this is a stock that's going to do well. And one of the reasons is they've really amped up their gain in internet marketing. Now, you don't have to know that to take advantage of the power right. gauge because the rating is very bullish. Right. Excellent. Great stuff. Thank you, Mark. Well, we've held a demonstration of the power gauge on a variety of different stocks. We've spoken with an amateur investor to get her own take on using the power gauge. 
And we've delved into all the nuances of a completely new way to see which stocks could double your money from the man who built one of Wall Street's top stock indicators. As Cheryl D. once wrote, I am an individual investor and trader. There's not enough time in my day to do the work Chaikin puts before me in minutes. I am wowed. Wow. And now that brings us to the big moment, Mark. So what are the free recommendations that you promised to give us today? Take out a pen and write this down. My number one bullish recommendation is Occidental Petroleum. The ticker is OXY. We've talked today about the rise of technology in post-pandemic America and how it's changing the way we shop, travel, communicate, and more. Well, this company uses a radical new form of technology to change the way we consume energy. On the surface, it's an oil company, but in fact, it's devoted to green energy, or green oil, you might say. They've developed a process known as carbon dioxide enhanced oil recovery, which goes a long way toward addressing climate change. The stock is currently rated very bullish on the power gauge. And in fact, Warren Buffett owns a sizable stake. But most importantly, in today's stock market where inflation has caused huge shakeups, energy is one of the few sectors that has actually been soaring lately. And that's because people need energy and they'll pay any price for it. And this company is one of the very key players in the ongoing evolution of energy consumption. Buy the stock immediately. My number one bearish pick is a firm, symbol AFRM. A firm is a digital payments platform that bet big on buy now, pay later loans. That turned out to be a big mistake as the entire industry has come under criticism for getting consumers deeper in debt. With losses mounting, the company is hanging on by a thread. In our model portfolio, you'll hear about all the best stocks in what I predict will be a new America, reflecting everything we learned from the pandemic lockdown. So there you have it, Mark Chaikin, a Wall Street pioneer who's developed a powerful way to see any of 4,000 different stock ratings before anyone else for the chance to make three to five times your money, which he'll reveal every month in his brand new Power Gauge report. Order right now and get 75% off the price, along with free access to his Power Gauge system for the next year, including all the features we've discussed today, plus free access to Mark's model portfolio of the top five stocks to buy right now, plus free access to four power picks for retirement. Mark's special report naming the top four stocks with huge upside potential to buy now and hold for the long term, plus his full research report, The Power Gauge, How to Double Your Money on the Best Stocks. And that's not all. If you get in right now, today, you'll also receive a special mystery gift we didn't even have time to cover in today's event but it's an absolute must have for everyone with money in the markets right now. Frankly, this mystery gift alone might be worth the entire value of today's offer. It's something you won't see anywhere else, but it's critical for anyone who wants the chance to make serious gains in the weeks ahead. And again, this offer is totally risk-free for anyone watching right now. That means you'll have the next 30 days to review Mark's special reports, his system, and his model portfolio, which shows you which stocks could double your money by predicting tomorrow's stock ratings on Wall Street. Just keep in mind, this charter offer with all the bonuses we've discussed today can be taken down at any time today. So to secure the best possible deal, we urge you to order now. To get started, simply click the link below this video. Mark, any last words? Uh, yes, Tom. Back when I worked on Wall Street, one of the funds I worked with was run by a guy named Steve Cohen. At the time, 1994, he was just another trader for a major bank, but one day he quit to start his own hedge fund, and that fund immediately became one of our customers. Since then, Steve Cohen has become a multi-billionaire at the helm of one of the most successful hedge funds in American history, and he owns the New York Mets. But now, for the first time ever, I'm turning away from Wall Street and giving you the advantage for the chance to see exactly which stocks are poised to have a buy rating over the next three to six months. And use that information for the chance to get into the best performing stocks yourself before anyone else. Once you see the kinds of results we've been talking about today, I predict you'll never again want to invest without the power gauge. Well, thank you, Mark. We appreciate it. And with that, place your order right now for the best possible deal. 
On behalf of Stansberry Research, I'm Tom Muston. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.